Welcome to another episode of Soul Align Success. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to build balance into your life as a spiritual entrepreneur. So this is such an important topic as you build your spiritual business. It's so important to make sure that you are aligning your business with your lifestyle goals. You know, back in the day, I was always a hustler, pounding the pavement, you know, always about the next deal and really hustle and grind. And it caused a lot of burnout and it caused a lot of stress, a lot of overwhelm, a lot of gut health issues, all of it. And so it's really important, especially as a spiritual entrepreneur, to have a balanced lifestyle because part of, you know, being this divine channel, you know, a spiritual teacher, healer, light worker, it's very, very important to be able to be grounded, to have a wellness lifestyle, to be able to show up in your highest energy, to be able to hold sacred space for others. You have to be able to do that and in order to do that you have to be taking care of yourself you can't be spread too thin you can't be a workaholic you have to have balance in your life and you have to be able to nurture yourself and take care of yourself and things like that and so the number one um, thing that i see a lot of spiritual spiritual entrepreneurs doing is not taking into account their lifestyle goals so a question came in, how do I build balance as an entrepreneur? And she mentioned in her question, I try to do it all. Okay, so I wanted to address this in two different ways. First and foremost, you can't do it all. You're growing a business. You have to be able to outsource um, as much as you can. Um, anything that is not your specialty, your genius, your gift, anything that can be streamlined or systematized needs to happen so that you can outsource and leverage your time. I'm not going to go into any more of that on this video because I have a whole nother episode on my SOS formula. So if you're interested in that, check out another, one of the previous videos in this series. I'm not sure what episode it is, but I want to talk about creating your business around your lifestyle goals first and foremost. So when you're creating your business, you stepped into entrepreneurship for a reason. I'm assuming that's because you want the freedom and flexibility to create your own life by design, which means you have to reverse engineer your lifestyle goals, right? You have to reverse engineer your lifestyle in order to create the business that's going to support your lifestyle goals, right? So for example, I take the fourth week of every month off. Um, I like to take Fridays and Mondays off. I primarily do most of my content creation and all of my coaching on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday is me time. I still check in with my groups and I still check in here and there, but primarily Tuesday through Thursday is when I'm super accountable to my clients and when I run the bulk of my business. The other four days out of the week, um, I'm taking care of myself. The fourth week of the month, I'm re resting, rejuvenating, detoxing from social media, and also traveling. And so I've built a business and a program that actually honors my lifestyle goals. And this is very important because if you don't do that first and foremost, what you're gonna end up doing at the end of the day once you build out your program or you build out your services is guess what? The end result is not going to match your lifestyle goals. And then you're going to be spinning your wheels, trying to recreate the wheel and trying to find more time for yourself. But at this point, you're already starting to reach burnout and overwhelm because you didn't take in your own lifestyle goals from the get go. And because of that, you're going to pay the price later. So I would recommend if you're watching this that you start to really streamline your business, you start to outsource as much as possible and you start to systematize. Again, I have a whole video on that, but I really would challenge you to sit down and write down your ideal lifestyle. Like how many hours a month do you wanna work? How many hours a week do you wanna work? What hours of the day do you wanna work? How many days a week, you know? so. 
So for example, I don't do podcast episodes um, late in the day. I really try to do, there's only a few group coaching calls that I'll hold later in the day. Most everything in my business happens before 1 p.m. because I am most energized and showing up as my most vibrant self during the first half of the day. And I like to wind down early. I like to have an evening routine. I like to have a morning routine. So I have alignment rituals, right? That bring me into an alignment um, in the morning and at night. And I know when I wanna be communicating and talking to people, um, such as interviews for the podcast or whatnot, um, when I wanna be coaching and the kind of energy I wanna be able to show up uh, with. And so I customize my business accordingly. So right now, if you try to book a strategy session with me, which a lot of women do after they watch my Soul Align Success Masterclass, you're gonna see that you only are gonna have an option to book with me on Tuesday or Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, um, be, between very specific hours of the day because I honor my time. I value my freedom. I value my flexibility and my me time. And so you have to be willing to do that. You have to be able to build your business around your lifestyle goals. So I would say, determine what you want your life to look like first and foremost, and then create a business and a program or services around that. So I hope this finds you well. And if this really interests you, this is exactly what I help women do inside Sacred Leader Academy, among other things. Um, but this is a big thing inside Sacred Leader Academy because so many teachers, healers, and light workers um, I see spreading themselves really thin and burned out. And at the end of the day, that does not put you in alignment with your mission and you're not able to hold the healing space for others when you're not showing up as your most energetic, empowered, abundant self. And so your lifestyle goals are key, right? So again, if this interests you, hop on my Soul Align Success Masterclass. Um, so you can learn a little bit more about what I'm all about and what I teach within my program, Sacred Leader Academy. And you can find that link below this video wherever you happen to be watching the video. And I look forward to tuning in with you again very soon. Namaste.